Uh, you have breast cancer before, right? Yes. I was five months pregnant and um, I went to surgeon and the surgeon told me that I had to have an abortion. Mm -hmm. So I said no, of mm -hmm. course. Okay. And then somebody gave me Dr. Ho's number. So I came here and Dr. Ho was the only doctor that said don't worry. Everything's mm -hmm. going to be fine. Mm -hmm. We'll take care of the baby. We'll give you cancer powder. Cancer powder is going to make baby strong and uh, you'll be fine. And it was true. It was great. We did the acupuncture um, in the head. You would put it all around the head and you would um, put the ointment on my breast mm -hmm. for three days and I would take it off. Um, it was for the tumor. It was when I came here, it was swollen. It was big. And mm. when we put the first time, it came back down. It was not swollen anymore. Mm -hmm. So it was good. I was happy. And we shrunk it 40%. So it was awesome. Diego. Yeah. He's very happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. Yesterday I drove to Daytona Beach and today I drove down here 97 miles. And I don't have any problem in traffic. I was very depressed before acupuncture. Now I think acupuncture is very good for me. I can do a lot of things now. Before I was shaking so much, I was embarrassed to do anything or go anywhere. Well, I um, was diagnosed with prostate cancer about two years ago. And I made an appointment with Dr. Ho. Dr. Ho, um, he, he uh, consulted with me. And then I had 19 treatments. When I saw Dr. Ho, my PSA was climbing to a 1.7. After the 19 treatments, I got a blood test and it dropped down to a 1. Well, I was diagnosed with a little lump, on, a lump in my a cavity in my lung, and they noticed that it had gotten a little larger. Use the scalp acupuncture treatment. Yes. And the, the mucus powder you take, right? Yes. Okay. It was this big at one time. Now it's like about that big. The last time when they looked at it, well, I uh, thank Dr. Ho at Wellness Center and God. He has a Parkinson's, the shaking hands, right? Yes. And uh, how how many years already? <laughs> Year and a half. Eventually, go. Shaking? No. Good. Very good. You think you're getting better? Oh, it's getting better. There's no question about that. <laughs> good. You have no problem. This is the first time treatment, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, good. This is a battery, right? You're right. Yeah. And usually you hold this uh, heavy stuff you wear shake, right? Oh, usually anything like this shake like heck. Good. You can control them, right? Mm hmm? You can control. A little bit, yeah. yeah. You're starting to feel a little bit shaky, but it's a lot better than it was. Okay. Pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Tonight, an amazing story of a young boy bound to a wheelchair. Doctors couldn't help him, but something else did. Janet Lawton has Brian's story. This is amazing. You guys are going to like this. Deformities from birth kept Brian in constant pain, and seizures kept him in a wheelchair. After medical treatments failed and Brian had his fill of experimental treatments, he tried an ancient healing technique. Now that treatment did what years of Western medicine could not. Recent high school graduate Brian Markowski is on his way to his first job, something Brian thought would never be possible. That was in a wheelchair and I was having a very bad time with pain. Severe pain due to a hip deformity and powerful seizures related to cerebral palsy kept Brian wheelchair bound. Okay. In desperation, Brian's mom took him to see Zhlang Ho, a doctor of oriental okay. medicine. When Dr. Ho did his five needles, if I hadn't been sitting there and watching it, I would not have believed it would work that well. I mean, within Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I mean, this child just calmed. Dr. Ho calmed Brian's seizures and eased his pain with acupuncture. Brian felt better immediately.
two weeks after his first acupuncture treatment, Brian was able to walk. Okay. The pain and seizures vanished. Earlier this summer, he walked across the stage to receive his high school well, diploma. You drive by the Wellness Center on Jacksonville Southside on any given Tuesday or Wednesday, you might notice a line of people out the door. They are there to see one man, a Chinese doctor whose ancient remedy has given them hope when others could not. John White is back in familiar waters. The one-time Olympic hopeful and his family have been athletic their entire lives. His son is a triathlete, and his wife? So my wife, you know, she wins her age group in the river run every year. When he was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2005, John was confident he'd beat it with surgery and radiation. But the cancer didn't go away. John's PSA, the marker for prostate cancer, remained elevated. Like many cancer patients, John was told he was basically out of options. That was an answer John could not accept. So at the urging of a holistic doctor, he started making some changes. I started eating properly, uh, getting off of dairy products, getting off of beef, and uh, eating fish, eating good vegetables, and uh, going that route. His doctor okay. also convinced John to drive to okay. Orlando to see a Chinese yeah. physician named Zhang Ho for acupuncture. Okay. Dr. Ho began treating John with a technique okay. called five-needle acupuncture. He also had John mix and drink what he calls his cancer powder. After the three months, I went and got my PSA taken, and it was zero. You didn't believe it at first? No, I did not. In <laughs> fact, the next day, I called Bridget Freeman and said, I, I'm going to another lab. I want to, you know, this has got to be a mistake. But it was no mistake. John's PSA was zero, and it has remained zero, or normal, ever since.